Is it live? Oh, we are live. Jazz is making <laughs> funny noises pre-live. She's on the matzos tonight, so that could be the reason. Uh, thanks, everyone, for coming. We wanted to talk a little bit about taking a break as an eBay reseller. Mm. And uh, no, we're not taking a break as eBay resellers. We've just taken a little mini break, which we wanted to talk about. We want to talk a little bit about um, some extended breaks and some strategies that we've used in the past to keep sort of things ticking along while you are sipping Long Island iced teas at the <laughs> beach. So we had a really good weekend away um, and we wanted to sort of talk a little bit about what we prepared going into it and what we've done in the past um, that has helped us as well. So let's just say get a quick g'day to everyone in the chat. Looks like g'day. Jada got in first. Yes, uh, getting in there. first. Uh, <laughs> there ten, ten brownie points for Jada, what I mean. Um, we have Dave Repairs. What's up, Dave? Good to see no, you. No, Dave is not here. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Kersko, Kirsty, good to see you. Kara, got Mikhail back today. Kara, you, you should not be well. here. You should be off having a romantic dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Thrifting Odd Style, good to see you. Captain Ahoy, Ahoy. You scary sea dogs. <laughs> Books and stuff, two down, thumbs down. That's trolls. That happens. That happens. Don't worry That's about so them. We're not worried. <laughs> Make sure you guys say good day in the chat. Um, if you're new here, if you've been here a long time, you usually don't say hello. Yeah. We love seeing people drop their names in the say chat. Hey. Um, don't be scared. You're in a safe place. We have mods here <laughs> looking after us as well. Yeah. Um, so thanks to all the mods looking after the chat tonight. Really There's appreciate something it. else on your mind that's gone down this week that you want to talk about and drop it in because, you know, we don't we don't have to talk only yeah. about <laughs> having breaks. Breaks are banned in the UK. Yeah, they're kind of banned here too in certain places. But, um, yeah, we've got to wait for a little minute while. G'day, Adam. Good to see you. Dedication. G'day, Scotty. Hope you're doing well, mate. Hope these uh, Ninja Turtles um, comics are up on the wall. <laughs> you know these ones. Evening all. Uh, sorry, I only had two thumbs. Uh, there we go. Try harder, Tommy. Anyway. <laughs> What's up, Jason? Good to see you. Hope you guys are doing really well. So we wanted to talk about, as I said before, taking breaks, taking holidays, preparing for holidays, what you can do to try and keep your store going. Now, we've been reselling for over three years now, so we've had a few, not a lot. We uh, have not had a lot. Look, we haven't been very good at scheduling no. time off this far. I think this year has been the hardest, though, for that. Uh, Christy's over on I love Twitch. That. Thanks for being here. Good to see you. Murray's in the house. Murray's house is in the house. <laughs> Murray's house is the house. <laughs> Team reselling. <laughs> so, yeah, we haven't been very good at taking time off. Um, most of this year because we haven't really had the opportunity. Well, it's like, yeah, if you can't go anywhere, then we'll just yeah keep, keep going. building the empire. <laughs> uh, so last weekend we actually had a friend's wedding and... Um, I took an extra day off either side, so Friday and Monday, and we stayed down at Glenelg for an extra night, um, took some time out, got some massages, had a really nice dinner, sort Heck of yeah. hung out near the beach for a little while just to sort of relax just because stop. it has been um, a pretty hectic year for us. I just lost my notes. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> You're a very important note. I know, right? Um, so, yeah, it's been a pretty hectic year for us. Jazz has been working full-time on eBay for seven-ish months now. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so it's been a long time coming that we needed a break. We needed some time for ourselves. Obviously, we've taken little mini ones when our family was here. But we want to talk about what we do. So be interested to see what you guys do leading up to breaks as well. Yeah. Um, now, obviously, this one was only really three days that we sort of weren't going to be listing or participating in eBay. <laughs> let's put it that way. So we did do a little bit of sneaky RA on the way there and back because uh, it's a bit of a drive for us. But in terms of actually listing and taking photographs and doing the day-to-day -day stuff that you need to do on eBay to keep it ticking, we weren't going to be doing How do you put it that. on pause? <laughs> so you want to talk about strategies that we use to sort of help us through those periods. So obviously this there's differences here between short, quick vacations and longer periods of time where you need to change your handling and all that sort of stuff. A few more dropped in. Good to see you, Mom. Rebecca Turner, thanks for being here. Trish Gill, family's in the house. Oz Riley, Ben, and Mikhail, what's up? <laughs> Good to see you, brother. Hope we capture up real soon. <laughs> uh, so let's talk. Let's go into it. So prior to us going away, I sort of didn't want to tell Jazz too much about the holiday because she knew we were going to the wedding, but she didn't really know that we we're going to be staying there for an extra couple of days until 
the weekend before because I thought we might have to cancel it. Yeah. <laughs> but essentially what I asked her to do was to start saving up a couple of listings each day. So when she was listing stuff, add a couple on top and put them in our drafts. So instead of doing 20, for example, she might do 22 or instead of 15, doing 17 and just banking them, waiting for the right time to put them up. Which um, is good to do all the time because if you can just do a couple of extra each day and keep them there, then you're all set whether you need to drop everything and run off to an, I don't know, emergency appointment or if you've actually planned to have a week off or something. It works. It was good. And um, I didn't actually realise, though, that you had me doing that for a reason. I was just like, yeah, good thinking, man. Uh, so having listings ready to go is probably one of the main things. So if you know you're going to be on four days break, for example, and over those four days you would usually list, let's say, let's say you do 10 a day. So you know you need 40 items to go live every day. Oh, sorry, 10 Whoa. items <laughs> ten <laughs> items to go live every day, 40 for the four-day period. You're obviously going to have to start planning for that sort of a few weeks out so that you can start adding those extra listings. You might have to be three or four extra a day to bank them up. But then when you're on your holiday, you can schedule them to go live through the day or you can just jump in really quickly in the morning, get them up, and your store still has activity. So we're very keen on consistency. We've seen it in the past where we stopped listing for periods of time that over a period of time our sales have dropped off a little bit. Obviously, we have a big store, so we're able to cover it a little bit, but especially when you're a new reseller and you have a smaller store. I can see it on our smaller, not even store, but our smaller account at yeah. our Depop. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. We've we neglected. haven't listed this month on Depop. Neglected. And we haven't sold this month on Depop. <laughs> yeah. So we wanted to make sure that we were ahead of the game. So we had about 30 listings sitting there ready to go. So we left Friday morning, did some RA on the way to Glenelg. Yeah, that was fun. Listed up the 10 items that day, got to spend the rest of the day. We had a really nice dinner, had the massage, got away from it, relaxed, um, and didn't have to worry too much because we knew that obviously our shipping wasn't going to be a problem because the next day was the weekend, which is great. Um, but they were ready to go. So we did that each day that we're away, and then we could do a shipping when we came back. So I admit that I did not fully detox. I was still oh, yeah. looking at my app. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely were still accepting offers and doing those small things that you do as an eBay reseller. We had maybe two or three questions come through that we responded to, but um, it's basically just looking at my sales and feeling pretty good <laughs> that uh, they were still trickling through while I had my feet up. A few more dropping in. Good to see you, Charlie. Hey, Hope Charlie. you're doing well. My name is Nicole. Thanks for being here. Nick, Nick, Nick. My name <laughs> is... That's a hard one. Uh, Master of Pieces, good to see you. Thanks for being here. Dale. Hello, the UK. Uh, dropping in. Mossy, good to see you, man. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> Does scheduling the listings have any different effect to manual listings? I personally feel like scheduling listings doesn't work as well as actually leaving them in your draft and pushing them live because I feel like eBay know that you're scheduling them and they don't give you the same sort of push, let's put it that way. So... We've done it both ways, but this time what we did is we just left them in our draft and pushed them live the next day. So I think it's hard to tell. Yeah, it, that's all circumstantial, and I think that I don't think anyone's got real data on that, but I feel like scheduling doesn't work as well as getting a fresh listing going in I, there. I own. also just like going in there and pressing the button, and I can't tell you why that is. Yeah. <laughs> I love the T-shirt, Brad. Yeah, a bit of uh, a bit of some bam, there. bam. <laughs> you very much uh good morning good to see you my fam have already been saying you're not going to work at the christmas are Ooh, you well are you that's a very are interesting you? question <laughs> who's going to be working christmas day i don't i don't think we will be working so much because most of our orders will be out the door for christmas at least um and then we have a bit of a holiday in terms of postage so interesting to see what's mm. going to happen there i feel like last christmas we got exactly one sale and we were surprised. Uh, eBay have started listing every day. eBay have started. stated that listing every day doesn't matter. I'll try and find that source if it's valid. Yeah, well, then I've heard from two different sellers that uh, eBay has told them directly two different things. So it'll be interesting yeah. to see if that's changed over time or if it's different um, in different countries. I think it also, for me, it's like stocking that shelf again. So if you sort of are selling good quality stock and you're selling stuff regularly. It's like when you go to the supermarket, if they're sold out of the thing that you want to be there for, you're probably not going to buy anything else from there, right? So 
I like to keep the stel- the shelves stocked <laughs> and consistency across the account. We've seen it a few times now where we have gone away and haven't had listings going up that our sales have dropped off. So there's probably a few things behind that, but we'll get into that shortly. I might take a break on December 25th. There we go. Uh, take hi, time off is so important. Good idea and draft a few listings to go live. For sure. Sujo Cat, what is up? Hello. Good to see you. Nice to be here. Dino's here. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hard name to say. Uh, thanks for being here, Dino. Uh, Sam's in the chat. Good to see you. Uh, whenever I have traveled since reselling, it's been for five or six months. And wow, I will draft as many as I can so I continue listing them for the first month. That's huge. That's There's a big break. Up. Look, from Mom and Hustling are here. Good to see you. I get someone to post for me. Yes, we will touch that in a second. I'm changing him. eBay has zero clue what anything does. Those are the facts. I have pretty, had someone tell me things that are just straight out wrong before, and I've been like, you know what? Okay, never mind. <laughs> Sorry, I came to this chat. <laughs> so let's talk about what options you do have when you go on extended leave. So obviously there's a few things that you can do here. You can employ somebody to do your shipping for you which is going to be an added cost to your business. So you need to work out if that's viable. Unless they're just like really a nice family A friend family and a family, <laughs> yep. Um, or you can put your store into holiday mode. Now, there is a caveat to that that I'll talk about in a second. Uh, extending your handling time is one thing that is very important. So if you have one day handling and you're going to be away for two weeks, that's obviously not going to work. Uh, <laughs> and you're going to get some dings against your account. So extend your handling time is super important. Uh, but with holiday mode, I've heard a few people talk about this now. We've experienced it as well. So the first time we ever went away after becoming an eBay reseller, we put our store on holiday mode because that's all the information we knew out there. Um, we didn't really know, you know, what to do. We didn't really know how to react to being on holidays. So we simply went down the route of holiday mode, extended our shipping time, and we noticed a bit of a delayed um, yeah, we got kickback. sales while we were on holidays and we were like, this is sweet. This is amazing. But when we got back, we shipped all of those ones and then we actually saw quite a drop off. It was like a hangover. Yeah. And that's when we said to the community then like, oh my gosh, has anyone else had this before? And I remember Zach, we flipping good stuff was like, you didn't. Yeah. Did you put it on holiday and mode? We we're like, yeah, of course, because we went on holiday. And heaps of other people have said the same thing. So our advice when going on leave, and this is exactly what we do, is we just change our um, our handling time out for, say, we're if we're away for five days, we'll do it for seven. So we give ourselves a couple of days on the end when we come back to settle back in. Obviously, we're going to have a lot to post <laughs> and get it out. So that's one big thing. You hope I, you're going to have a lot to post. Yeah. I just want to do a shout out to uh, Mossy. Mossy. Buy a candle and bottle of wine supporting Aussie wine growers. Whoa. Thank you so much, Mossy, for the $40 super chat. Really appreciate that. That's far Thank too kind. You. Definitely grab ourselves a nice uh, drink. We are for in Christmas. the really nice wine region and we would yeah. love to support them. That's um, huge. On Mossy. your behalf. Thank you very much. Really appreciate wow. it. Wow. Uh, far too kind. Great. Now I feel like we're still on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, supermarket have multiple employees. They do. That is true. Uh, could come see you for Christmas. We could, yes. Uh, let's drop through the chat. I saw a couple more droppers in. Good to see you, Kelly. Uh, we flipping good stuff. Good to see you, <laughs> Zach. How you doing, man? Having someone else shipping doesn't work. 100%. Jazzy has... I wrote that! <laughs> Jazzy has that on our little list. So uh, if you're going to employ someone to do shipping for you, you need to have a very, very <laughs> uh, good inventory system. They so, need to have access. Yeah. They need to know what to do if something is wrong. They need to know how to combine stuff. They need to know how to find stuff. Yeah, so you're going to probably ship a teapot. You're probably going to have to give them some sort of training beforehand, whether that's, you know, a couple of days or a week. So we've kind of gone down the route before of just extending out our listings uh, and making sure that we have stuff ready to go. And then we also make sure we communicate with the buyer. So we'll also touch on that in a little bit. I'm interested to see what everyone else does as well. So please drop in the chat what you guys get up to I when you're going to leave. Diary of a Flipper has just uh, had a little break as well. Uh, what is up, Rob? Good to see you, buddy. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I had the same thing. I was more thinking that it slowed when I got back due to not listing the week before. 
Uh, so that's talking about the Thieves. holiday mode. It's not listing. Is it the extended I think it's, handling? Um, Is it a, a bit combination? Of both. What candle are you going to buy, Bradley? One I recommended yesterday. I will not be buying that, but I will show you Do what I you recommended even want to, to know? us yesterday. Uh, skip the candle and buy two bottles. <laughs> well, that is an option. That is an option. If you're cheap like me, you could get a candle and two bottles. Uh, Mossy just wants to see you drunk. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to happen. Brad's on the um, sparkling water, no yeah, added I'm sugar. Uh, wild. I'm with Tracy. <laughs> you're getting Brad excited. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm worried uh, about this. Luckily, it might go nuts. Yeah, so we, luckily we had Wow, well, yeah, that's the other point. While we're away. So <clears throat> uh, let's talk about communicating with buyers. So when we do go away, like when we go to Darwin for a couple of weeks to see the family, we'll have like a templated response. And what we'll do uh, when we get a sale, we communicate with the buyer, send them that templated response saying, hey, thank you very much for your item. Just want to make sure that you notice our extended handling time because we're currently away from the business. We will ship your item by, and then we put the date da, da, da. in the end. Uh, and what you can do as well when you are getting closer to that sort of return date is you can start dropping your handling time down. So instead of having that 14-day handling time set for the whole period you're away, as you get closer to coming home, change it to, Five, to come closer. Four, yeah, like three. a bit of a countdown. Because <laughs> that way people know when you're going to ship it, they have an expectation. They're not, it might actually push them to buy it rather than knowing they have to wait 14 days. Mm -hmm. You might say, oh, I'm going to get this within five days. So that's, you know, a bit better for them. Encourage a few more sales because I think 99% <clears throat> of people were like, yep, that's cool. Saw the handling time. We did have one or two who were like, oh, no, no, I need this by like. You know, next week, please cancel. So that one couldn't ended up bad. Yeah, definitely. Could have had a few returns, but we avoided those. Uh, holiday mode is kind of nonsense. Just put a long shipping handling time. There you go. Two to three weeks is okay uh, on your items. Then every time you get a purchase, contact the buyer and explain when you will ship. We can wrap this live Absolutely. up Absolutely. <laughs> uh, hit it on the head. What is up? Good to see you, Tilly and Bo. Hey. Thanks for being here. 55 in the chat, 57 now. Thanks, everyone, for being here. If you are lurking and uh, just chilling, say, hey, you're in a safe place. We like to keep <laughs> it positive here. Uh, talk about everything eBay-related, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, so come along and have some fun. Maybe we just pay more attention when we know we are doing something different. Maybe we just pay more attention when we know we are doing something So if there was, like, a natural dip, we would probably still go, oh, it's because I've been away. True, yeah, true. Uh, ginger beer candle. Uh, would probably I'm go confused right. about this candle. I feel like I'll you should just screen you. share it and show everyone. No, Is that not, not appropriate? That's not going to happen. I More will show intrigued. you afterwards. <laughs> uh, I just extend handling time only and have a generic message to each buyer. There we go. Never holiday mode. Isn't that so strange that they have a service that people <clears throat> have, well, <laughs> anecdotally not uh, had a good experience with? Uh, agree. It? I drop the handling time back once I get closer. Trolls need not apply. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, what is up, Aussie Outback Bush Mechanics? Hope you guys are doing well. Um, so, yeah, we, we wanted to talk about the importance of taking what is up, Roars. Good to see you. <laughs> wanted to talk a little bit about the importance of taking a break as well because I think it's very easy as an eBay reseller to never take a break because way too easy. You're on your phone all the time because that's the society we live in. Because we are. How bad is it? Um, you're accessible pretty much any time of the day. Um, so I think it's something that we need to get better at as well. We have been pretty good over the last sort of three to four months, probably because we've been pushed on one or two occasions um, with some family stuff. But uh, a forced break is still a break. <laughs> yeah. But I think actually making time for yourself or your partner um, is, is really important. So being able to clear your head, and I know that a lot of people are sort of coming up to that period after Christmas, that sort of first couple of weeks of January tends to be when a lot of eBay resellers take breaks because uh, usually the sales have dropped off a little bit um, after the Christmas rush. Christmas, you sort of get slammed, which has been a little bit of a later pickup this year. Today we are doing quite well, though. I've seen a couple yeah, of sales Yeah, December come has started very nicely, but um, it's not 
uh, not as manic as it was last year. Yet. What's up, Nights Life? Good Hi. to see you. Another UK resident and dropping in to say g'day. Uh, let us know in the chat where you guys are from. I'd be interested to see if anyone is outside of Australia or UK. Even if you're in Australia and you're in a weird place, drop where you are from because I'd be keen All to Australian see All Australian places are weird places. Everyone is from. So taking taking a break is important for not only yourself, but I think it's important for your business because it kind of resets you a little bit, doesn't it? Like instead of just seeing the same thing over and over and just getting stuck in that rut of like listing and shipping, you kind of take a step back. When you come back, you get a fresh set of eyes and everything. 100%. You pick up on mistakes that you were making before. <laughs> You're able to sort of work out uh you know what you need to change refresh and reset and move forward so that's sort of something that we took stock of uh over the weekend apart from you know all the relaxing i sort of started thinking about what has happened this year what has worked well for us this year what hasn't worked well what are things we want to get into so we will talk a little bit about our future on ebay as well because i think there's some bum, changes bum, bum. that we're going to implement as we've said, guys, recently probably op shops have dropped to about 40% of our business and sort I'm of... feeling the itch, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. It's going to remain part of our business. But 60% has been bulk buyers wholesale. We're even doing some uh, RA, some uh, importing as well at the moment. Dipping our toes. So we're trying a lot of things at the moment to see what's going to work for us in the future. And obviously, we're going to take you along as much as we can on that journey. Um but this was a really good point in time to take stock of what is working. And I think that's something that you don't really get to do when you're just listing. When you're on the posting. go, you're really not thinking of the big picture, I don't think. Uh, what is, uh, let's see who is here. We are driving to Queensland for three weeks over Christmas. Beautiful. That's awesome. Zach. January so and good February guys. rock. If you want to take your foot off the pedal, March may be better for sure. I do find that people spend their Christmas money on used goods in January. Yeah, we do get a few of those. But it's not like busy, busy. See the family. We've got uh, Berkshire. Berkshire, England. Berkshire, Thank you for Berkshire. Maybe much. it depends. Uh, <laughs> some guy named uh, Captain Opshop Nerd is in Adelaide. Thank you, Toby. <laughs> Reselling Wiz is in Katoomba. 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 That's is that near your dad? Uh, not look, sure. Probably. <laughs> Binjara, WA, not very interesting. Uh, my I think that's interesting. My family <laughs> used to work in WA up the top. Uh, Ashley, hey, Brad and Jazz lurking here in the background from Scotland. Scotland. There we go. Cheers, Ashley. I think that's a new one. So um, <laughs> I'm glad to ask that question. If anyone else has any interesting one, drop them in. We'll pick them I've up. definitely seen Ashley before, but I did not realize that you were tuning in from so far away. Definitely. Um, Rebecca, we live in Salisbury, UK, but I'm from Western Super... What? Yes. Western Superman, birthplace of John <laughs> Mr. Cleese. Cheese. Wow. <laughs> That's so cool. Bunbury, Western Australia. I like, have lived in Bunbury very briefly. Uh, I was born near there as well, mm -hmm. so I'm familiar with that part of the world. I love seeing where people are from. So Cheers, please Hayden. drop them in. Pronounce Berkshire. There you go. Berkshire. Uh, Ballarat. Everyone sounds feral. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I look so tired in my video. I uploaded this morning. I am desperate in need of a break. And it's I think it's hard that's, to schedule breaks. Like, when do you stop? Yeah. I think that is one thing that does get tough the closer you get to Christmas, the harder and harder it becomes. So, whether you just add an extra day onto a weekend somewhere so you get a four day break, yeah. or if you try and change your handling time, like we do one day shipping. So, every day we're posting. Luckily, we had done it on a Friday and got back Sunday. So, we didn't really have any lag in terms of um, postage, but if we had to come back Monday, we would have been a little bit behind because... We have shipped uh, our last couple of parcels at the airport before. Yeah, we have done that. <laughs> There's a post box at the Adelaide airport. If you get last-minute sales and you go on holidays, yeah. don't worry. Uh, we've got Zach in Sydney. We've got... Uh... Geelong. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that name. It's Jorzaki Watches. Is that, is that right? Let me know if that's I can't even help close. you, man. <laughs> Wollongong, what is up? Good to see you. We've got Barn Staple. We've got another <laughs> Radeladian. We've got York Peninsula, where our family This question's is puffing. I know, I like it. Uh, wow, what a good variation of locations. We've got Cockatoo, Victoria. Ballers or rats in Ballarat. <laughs> what? Oh. Uh, Devon. <laughs> 
our break's been and gone for well, sure. Well, you're doing the double hustle look, mum. I'm hustling. <laughs> Some crazy place names for sure. <laughs> uh, so we're in Adelaide, obviously South Australia. So the bottom of Australia, in the middle, chilling out. Uh, good weather at the moment. So yeah, so taking breaks is important um, for your business and your mental health and we're your physical health. We're better at taking time off than taking like time during the day. So that we'll say we're going to have a morning off or we're going to go out for dinner and turn our phones off, that kind of thing. But going away, actually. Apparently, was really good. Tommy's in Guantanamo. Guantanamo Bay. But Tommy doesn't know geography, so he's not it actually probably, sure where he is. Probably actually wouldn't know where that is. We've got uh, Hot Cove. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's been over four years since I've taken a break. Two of life is relentless. Yeah, that is that is a long time. So I think um, I think what we'll continue to do is sort of, yeah, our business model is about our ASP. So we like to keep that sort of $50 ASP, which gives us time during the day to take breaks when we need to. So um, we can sort of list, you know, 20 to 30 items a day reasonably comfortably without absolutely slamming ourselves to the ground every single day. Um, it's a comfortable rhythm for us. It's something that we're sort of accustomed to obviously the stuff we're selling some of it needs testing like the games we got in the box just over there that's the time um, suck but you know sitting on the floor testing games isn't the worst thing yeah <laughs> i don't point. feel too tired uh, we've got mum over in the air peninsula as well uh i am orbiting your planet from <laughs> international wow space you have away, such a good connection don't tell anybody. Uh, <laughs> I, I won't uh, let it out i'll we are in life. Well, that's, that's all good. We'll have to edit that whole section <laughs> out. Uh, so, yeah, if you guys have any sort of other tips for taking holidays and what you should do for your eBay store, let us know. But I guess the top ones for us are banking listings ready to go to keep some sort of, you know, uh, continuation on your account, consistency. For planned breaks and for surprise breaks, which yeah. usually aren't as fun. <laughs> uh, make sure that you extend your handling if you need to. If it's a small break, you're not going to have to do that. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Are you looking at what I'm looking at? Jaws Jaw Zaki. Zaki. Wash, <laughs> wash hands, wash hands, wash hands. <laughs> I love how it spells out the emojis. Uh, that's the last little corner of the world. Yeah, so extend your handling time, bank those listings, I wouldn't recommend using holiday mode. If you have a different experience and would like to do that, go ahead. We haven't done it since that, that experience time. and the feedback we got from other people. So if someone does use holiday mode and has absolutely no problems and no hangover afterwards, it'd be interesting to hear. Yeah, definitely. Because um, we're still talking about it, but it was like... Three, what, two and a half, two years ago? Yeah, <laughs> we just never went um, back. And communicate with your buyers. So set up a template response, save it in your notes, save it somewhere that you can access it. Drop it and um, nine times out of ten, the buyer um, understands. They've seen that handling time. And if they're not happy with it, um, then at least they're aware of it. Yeah, the um, one time out of ten, I would rather <clears throat> cancel or at least have them know than to have it go to poop down the line. Disconnects are crucial. Mini ones daily and big ones at least yearly, no matter what the job. De I definitely agree with that. I think Spot it's – um, I looked at my leave from work, so I've taken a day or two here here and there when family's been down but i actually haven't had more than two days in a row since december last year um so i was wow. like we need to uh i didn't realize need to work that because so, we usually go away for like a fortnight mm, generally but we haven't done that this year all right oh i bet a lot of people haven't this year but we should just um have yeah, stay home. It's christmas day until weeks into the new year love it Ooh, yeah. Um, so yeah, let us know in the chat what you guys do when you go on holidays. Do you employ someone to come in? Do you change things up and just change out your handling time? What are some strategies that you have learned uh from past um experiences? Obviously, when you get home as well, there's a bit of if you are sort of a high volume seller, you're gonna have to do a lot more work. So whether you sort of batch that or split it up, we usually just pick all our orders, package them up come here and then print the labels. And I'm usually pretty keen to get it all packaged up, though. It's like when you've got that big bank and you haven't picked any orders <clears> in a few days, <throat> like, yes, I'm going to get them. <laughs> I thought That's I was cool. clapping. You were, you were just doing it with soap. <laughs> Let's go on holiday for sure. Uh, was that the year you were with us for Christmas? Well, it would have been last Christmas when you guys were down here. So, yeah. <clears throat> I don't remember. I also want to know if there is anyone who completely switches off, does not look at their store at all, questions be damned. 
I'd say an interesting <laughs> one because me and Flipper, Flipper were having a quick chat before because Flipper went away on the weekend as well. Uh, and we we're chatting like the day before we both went away and we we're like, oh, what are you going to do? Like, are you going to look eBay What's up? What's your plan? Are you, you going to delete Instagram? Because obviously Brad's got a family as well, which makes like an added thing on top of it. So I was like, you know what? If you do delete Instagram for two days, like just is remove it going to be a big deal? Of your phone. Yeah. It's a good idea. Um, obviously we didn't delete eBay because that's something that we still wanted to keep an eye on, but. You know, yeah, they I'm are not options. there yet. I still, I want to open it. I like seeing sales come through. <laughs> uh, Rob's had more six th- sick days this month than Brad's had all year. Of this year. Uh, look, some would say <laughs> that Rob makes his own public holidays. Uh, some would say uh, Rob <laughs> gets always so a public holiday. Typically, somewhere. when I go on holiday, I stalk people with maps of different continents in their hats. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. I switched this whole year off. <laughs> did I think, you switch yeah. it off or? <laughs> did eBay switch it off for you? Either way, he's taking a break. I think Tommy's talking about doing a um a New Year's celebration. So I think what's going to happen is they're going to try and find someone in Australia and probably even New Zealand maybe uh, to go on live <laughs> Over there. and do the countdown all around the world. So like the channel. So be live. Off at the Midnight. countdown yeah and then they'll jump onto the next person that's going live for the countdown which will be a hectic day so if we get involved in that we'll i be can't really see cool. us all like going out and running amok on the streets this new year's because nope. then we'll have a bloody lockdown happen. again uh would redo 2020 in a heartbeat be best year ever uh, so that's really interesting that drew says that like <laughs> let us know <laughs> drew, how to what respond. what part of this year has been good because it's definitely been Break this downfalls. Down. I think for us it's probably well, we've been... really looked a lot at the positives, but that's because we're in a privileged position where yeah we've had positives. So I think for us it's been a really good year in terms of sales. It's been a great year because Jazzy's been able to had an excuse uh, well, to ditch my finished job. up her job and has been able to <laughs> resell full time, which has then propelled our business to another level. Um there's been positives about when we have been able to see family uh lockdown for us was very little so we can't compare to like victoria or the uk or the us this is my first year as full-time reseller so i'm trying to keep in on top of work and also take care of a relative with stage stage three advanced three cancer i'm so sorry to hear that's really tough it's a full-time job in and of itself so that's difficult to get a break maybe um maybe you're gonna have to get someone else to like yeah, are there respite family member options? For a while, um, because it is hard. I'm an expert in taking breaks. <laughs> Maddie, you make me laugh. <laughs> uh, hey, questions. Oh, hey, question. Why wouldn't you have someone else do your packaging for you? Perfect. We do uh, could have I a allow pretty, someone else. <laughs> yeah, we do have a pretty good um, inventory setup. Um, finding someone that would be keen to do that would probably available be the first challenge. in our location so the only one that would be sort of close enough would be cara who's got her, who's got own, her own business, business to, to do <laughs> so we probably wouldn't put that on her we've jazzy's mum uh when she was down learned quite mm. a bit so we could she like has fly my mum here yeah so it's not that we wouldn't do it but we wouldn't want to put that on anybody else so we um, take our stuff pretty seriously and i think that um although mum would do it she would feel like a lot of pressure <laughs> yeah i guess because it's our business and we've set up all our processes to suit us yeah um those processes might not work for somebody else so um i think it would be not impossible but it'd be difficult to have someone come in and run it exactly the same way that we would run it because the the picking part would be all right it'd just be like deciding what size thing to put it in what to click up on my post how business. much protection does yeah. this need yeah uh tommy bernhard oh my god i think i'm too much of a control freak <laughs> just realizing in this moment that i may have a problem uh i'm a proponent of complete switch offs which requires missing the kachings but 100 percent worth it. i've not completely switched off at all i turned my phone off a few times and we took our break but I've never done it. Drew must have got that chronic itch result. Only reason anyone can say 2020 was great. Good to see you, Maddie. Thanks for being here. We appreciate it. Up to Thrift. What is up? Good to see you on the chat. 
as we said before, if you're lurking (laughs) and you're afraid to say hello, don't be afraid. Safe place, uh, all positive here. So thank you very much. Kara could do it. There you go. Keep that in mind. Uh, Break doesn't have to be a couple of weeks switch off it can be as little as taking an evening a weekend off surprising how much that helps oh this weekend like it was refreshing oh so good global thrift what is up up? jack and emily thanks for coming really appreciate you guys dropping in hope you guys are well and sales are cruising along if you guys missed it we were over there friday before we went on holiday yeah last friday got up early had a really good chat with jack and emily and then we took our staycation (laughs) if uh, anyone wants to drop that link in the chat feel free as well appreciate if you guys go there and say good day uh light bulb everyone's saying good day to jack and emily i've just dropped the chat there that's awkward dropped it and now uh, best of luck, global thrifters, yo, yo, everyone hitting up family. <laughs> Popular it's funny bunch when the UK here. wakes up. Like... What? You're a control freak, Jazz. That's from a family member. Oh, <laughs> not in most things, but yeah. <laughs> uh, break or no break, turning eBay notifications off was the best thing we ever did. We do eBay on our time, not the other way around. I still have notifications on, but I don't have Same. sound on. So, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Mine's on silent, but with notifications on. Uh, yeah, they were also chatting with Zahia. I have to catch up on that one because that was like middle of the night for us. Which... I've watched most of it back, <laughs> to, uh, watching it in pieces. Have to switch it on it's tomorrow. so frustrating not being able to watch. Oh, there you go. Don't flip us, drop the link there. So that's awesome. Uh, so with 36 in, if anyone would like to sort of add anything to uh, taking a break and uh, how they do it or what taking a break has done for them. I think it's really allowed us to sort of take a step back, work out what we're going to do next year, uh, what direction we're going to take with not only our reselling but our YouTube channel. Obviously, we're working on some stuff over on Twitch. There is a link in the description if you guys want to head over there and follow. A follow on Twitch is free. Um, and if we get to a certain amount of followers on Twitch, then we can start adding some cool doing little some features streams, in there. So doing some fun stuff you can select. Head over there, give us a little follow. Um, we'd really appreciate that. Say good day while you're over there so we know you've dropped over. A uh, bit of fun, nothing serious. I think Twitch will be more of the fun side of our business. So uh, <laughs> if you guys want to check that out next year, we've got some big plans for that. Might be um, able to have some hangouts. Yeah, some working hangouts uh, with some differences um, <laughs> and some more sort of more relaxed content where you guys can see what we do during the day, um, stuff like that. So head over to Twitch, yeah. check that out, give us a follow, and hopefully next year we'll have some stuff Watch ready for you guys. Space. We do have some plans next year how we can interact with you guys more often because we've always been a channel that enjoys interaction and likes to hear from the community, and we try and respond to every single comment that we get on our videos. Um, so we've got some plans next year how we can interact with you guys better. So let us know if that's something you guys want to see um yeah so it's so funny if someone was like no nah. no nah, we don't want to talk <laughs> uh i have to take a break in the school holidays or else the kids yep. will feel neglected planning to do a week of work then a week very little work rotation over the six weeks okay i like that sometimes i'm just switched on all the time for too long definitely howdy howdy what is up ian good to see you uh be sure to sub to jack, jack and emily, and emily. Taking time to ensure you have a clear mind can really help improve your surroundings and the sales. The other thing I did was um, I didn't do a very good job of it, but I tried to do a little tidy up and just, like, make sure that the house was cleanish so that when we came back I wasn't walking straight into, like, all the gains that I'd been testing and tripping over stuff. Uh, I can didn't do a great job. To get Ninja Twitch on or a Twitch chat if you want. That would be awesome. What's that? Uh, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I know nothing yet. Streak on Twitch. July holidays and down. Yeah, we are planning some leave around July sometime. Should be good. Michael Boris, what is up? Good to see you. Twitch content for sure. Uh, so we are live on Twitch right now. So if you do want to head over, say good day, chuck us a follow, and say good day in Twitch, then it will pop up here as well, so I can see that you're there. Uh, I have not listed any items in five weeks, but weekly sales have gone up. How does that work? Time uh, of year, the Christmas, type of things yeah, you have listed definitely. probably. Uh, there are ways to sort of circumnavigate it a little bit. Um, obviously, promoted listings, ending and relisting can help. There are ways to get sales when you're not listing. We're not saying that you're not going to get sales. What we're saying is that you will get more consistent sales in the long run if you are consistent. Like anything in life, the more often you go to the gym, the more fit you're going to get, which is something I don't do. 
Um, but the more consistency you can put into anything, the better you're going to get out of it. So. You know, what's been interesting is with the video games because I was listing hundreds of games and we're getting really great bundle sales and repeat customers. And then I switched to list another bulk deal that we got completely different. And the games kind of tapered off. Mm -hmm. And then this last week, I've been listing the games again. Mm -hmm. And it's picked up the sales of the games I listed previously. So people are buying like, well, we've been live. Someone bought a Sega Master mm -hmm. System game. Mm -hmm. And I've been seeing that people will buy one of the new ones I listed and like two of the old ones. So it's like triggering sales from back then. So it's interesting that like the different types of things you list can affect it. Australian Ninja Warrior. Oh, that's right. Yep, that makes sense. <laughs> Uh, hey Pat, good yes. to see you. Sounds awesome. Good luck with your new adventures. Yeah, it should be some fun Cheers. next year. Um, we're going to try and bring a little bit of something different in the reselling community that we haven't really seen done too much in that sense. Um, and we have some fun little games that we want to do next year as well. So stay tuned for that. Um, we're kind of getting a little bit off the topic here, but uh, it all makes sense because we've had time to think about it. Uh, yeah, and take get a step back and like really think about what parts we're enjoying and what we can let go. Uh, I want to read this first. Um, hell yeah, first gym session back. Yes, they get into brown. Oh. I used to be into it pretty heavily. Uh, and then Remember I stopped. when you used to go to hip? That was dumb. <laughs> Just listed a gorgeous designer quilt. That's awesome. A designer quilt? Better I don't think I've ever sold a quilt. Not, list, not listing really list? doesn't slow sales. It's more the fact that all of your best items are purchased without replenishing. There you go. So that's that's the thing about stocking those shelves, right? Yeah. I uh, love the T-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's one of my favorites. Uh, so I wanted to touch on something tonight as well before we head off. Um, VAT, that, um, which mm. is coming, uh, well, is going to be more of an issue uh in australia so a couple weeks ago we all got emails from australia post my post business and places like that saying that um essentially that was going to be applicable on any sale to the uk from zero dollars now uh rather than from a certain amount as of january like 15 pound or yeah, something as uh, there we go we got kersko over on twitch <laughs> yes I saw it for a second thanks for being here uh, talking about that, so yeah, so essentially what it was saying was that we would have to go out and get a specific thing, uh, like a license or, a, um, a, yeah, like a license. So we had to, yeah, register for some sort of a number that I yeah. didn't want to do. So, uh, I was pretty confident that eBay were going to step up to the plate and uh incorporate it in their listing price. And I got an email today, so I've had a lot of people asking me to look into this and do a little bit of a video about it. So I'm going to do it live here for you guys, and I might even cut it and put it out as another video for anyone that does miss it so it's sort of succinct and in one spot. But essentially, I got an email today um, that I want to share with you guys. So hopefully this sort of, uh, I guess, calms some people's fears. So all it says is, as someone who sells internationally on eBay, we want to make sure you're aware of changes to that rules in the UK and EU that may affect your business. What's changing? In 2021, there will be changes to VAT, treatment of imports into the UK and EU, as well as certain shipments within the EU. From January 1, 2021, eBay will collect and remit VAT on consignments up to the value of £135 imported into the UK and sold to consumers. From the 1st of March, 2021, it will you will be required to enter a VAT rate when listing items on eBay, eBay.co.uk. <laughs> so that means if you're in Australia and you somehow had a uh, eBay UK account and listing mm -hmm. on there directly, then you have to worry about it. And then from July 1st, 2021, eBay will collect remit VAT on consignments up to a value of £150. So essentially, if you're shipping anything over £150, which is about $300, then you're going to need one of these um, these licenses, which they sent an email about a while back. But essentially anything up to about $300, depending on exchange rate, eBay will actually take out the money themselves. So what this says here, what this means for you, for items delivered to buyers in the UK from January 1st, eBay will add the appropriate VAT to the buyer total in checkout. Uh, if VAT was collected the VAT amount will be deducted automatically from the buyer's payment and you'll receive payment for, for the order. 
So essentially it's saying it'll charge them VAT on top of your order. Uh, eBay will collect this money. When sending the order to the buyer, we recommend you include a copy of the buyer invoice or order details to show that VAT has been collected. This will be included in your order details. You'll still need to fill out a customs declaration, which is normal. Uh, so pretty much that is good news for us in that we don't okay. really have to do a heap except for items over 150 pounds, which I'll probably look into and cut that little section plus the rest into a, a succinct video so you guys can come back and look at it, understand what it means. I don't think too many of us are going to be sending too much to the UK over £300. I can't think the jacket we sent was 260 plus post, so maybe that one would qualify. So I need to clarify that. Um, but essentially, that will be handled like what um, the sales tax is for you, US customers, which is great. We don't need to worry about it too much. It might be worth looking into that original email if you are selling high end items overseas. Um, but I think overall we should be we should be okay it's gonna be all right uh, we've been sending a lot to the uk oh what is up noel good to see you oh uh, thank you what the heck are you two talking taking a break i'm late to conversation <laughs> as usual that's what happens when you're like me hope this helps a little thank you very much noel that is far too we kind took a little break <laughs> we're uh, getting the 2020 super chat for the 2020. 2020 uh so we took a little break last weekend we're not taking an extended break from ebay or youtube or anything like that we might have a week off over christmas on youtube but we're just talking about what things you can do um to help your business when you're taking a break so also how seamless. important yeah and how important taking a break is so yeah really so we appreciate haven't that. taken one for quite a while uh, thank you so much yeah we really appreciate that noel thank you for being here <laughs> and uh thank you for your kind it's not even well. watched like the know, stream right? we don't deserve that <laughs> uh who would ship to them guys i don't know who would ship over there it's well they keep ordering like from us it's really annoying <laughs> i sell lots of vintage lingerie, lingerie. The UK. there you go interesting uh jack and games no and clothes. Clothes. We've got the whole place covered for sure <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much noel uh captain up shop nerd oh i missed something there oh my gosh it just and went part, crazy part fact part fiction who must more of a store score and a quality of items. Hmm. All right, thanks, Tommy. Always learning. Let's catch up. We are nearly finished with the EU stuff. Gen 1 is the deadline. So, yeah, there is a bit of talk in the EU there as well. It says, I think it said from July that they would be covering the EU. Yeah. Um, so generally we don't sort of, well, lately we haven't been shipping to the EU. We've been shipping to the UK yeah uh new zealand america and a few other places um but i'm pretty confident that they're going to cover off most of it there in our circumstance we do have a couple items over that mark but not too much that i sort of expect to go over there i'll probably look into getting one of those licenses or those um vat numbers so that if it does happen i have it and it will also allow me to investigate it and provide you guys with a bit of a breakdown so you guys can try and understand it as well i know it is very confusing I was a little bit worried when I got that email, but I thought that um that would cover it off with eBay. So it's been lucky. Yeah, I was hoping that they would do something like they do for the sales tax in US. Would have been pretty shoddy if they didn't. Uh, this is good at my post office in the UK as they would add on extra $7 and then add the VAT duty. That was annoying. Yeah, we have had UK customers contact us and say, excuse me, I got charged more when it arrived. And we're like... <laughs> Yep, that's your government. <laughs> that's nothing to do Tommy's with Tommy's trying to uh, claim the 2020 signature. <laughs> that seems fair. <laughs> I had 38 orders to ship out today. That's <laughs> awesome. I had to get an early start being... <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's not true. Uh, we really appreciate that, though. So thank you very much for that super chat. Thank you, everyone, for joining us once again. We have 10 minutes to go. So I'll probably start talking about what's coming up. I know what's so coming up. This Friday, we have what? <laughs> we are going to film and release on Friday our What Sold for November with some interesting sales that we've had, yeah. things that are currently selling out of our store. Yeah, try and uh, share as much as we can with you guys. We always do the What Solds. I'm trying to think of new formats for that to keep them interesting for you guys. So And for us. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
I like putting them out, but it is a lot of like work and editing and stuff. So I'm trying to work yeah. out ways that we can make it more interactive and more fun for you guys. So let us know if you guys enjoy what solds in the in chat. I know some people really love them, some people really hate them. But if you hate them, you don't have to watch it. Yeah, that's right. And if you love it, we'll make it. <laughs> uh, so we always share that. I think November we were probably trapped around the same as October. No big increase. I, I expected a little uh, peak. Late. kind of around like late november but it seems but we to be, just kept tracking we we're just like okay i think it's like today it's like i think people have gone oh crap it's de december it's christmas today's been good yeah so um <laughs> gonna be interesting to see if that maintains so come along friday for that one it's always fun uh what is up Shazad? Shazad, good to see you i'm house. sure you're busy as always <laughs> uh so yeah friday we've got the what's sold next tuesday night we'll come back for another live uh, we have a couple topics planned, but if you guys want us to cover off anything, drop it in the chat as well because we love yeah. hearing what you guys want to hear about. Otherwise, you'll just get what we've been doing, like preparing to take a break. <laughs> uh, even though she gave me my <laughs> money away <laughs> as a live in a few hours. Uh, we'll probably be asleep when she goes live, unfortunately. But, um, Maybe not, though. Maybe not. We'll see. We'll see, <laughs> we'll see what we can do uh what's old today what's olds are hard to film like uh, they are especially if you're sort of like trying to talk to like the value of it how much it sold for how much you bought it for having all that information and trying to keep it natural um and then what's relevant to the people who are watching like what's actually going to be helpful for them to take away yeah because we try we get always... stuck in a format sometimes and then it's like yeah so we've been trying to like <laughs> pair back what we're showing and show stuff that you guys can pick up in hop shops and garage sales and things that we think you guys will actually find pretty regularly. Well, sometimes the exciting things for us that we just want to talk about mm. aren't actually the things that are going to be helpful. <laughs> oh, look, my mum's bailed on us nine minutes to go. She can't even stick around. Seriously? That's one strike. My mum doesn't even turn up uh, anymore, have you she, noticed? She's had enough of us. She hey. literally put in her notice and said, later, got something better to do on Tuesday nights. That's, that's poor. <laughs> no, um. we, we uh, sincerely appreciate everyone being here. So thanks for dropping in. Uh, so, yeah, we will continue doing that. As we said, um, we'll probably take maybe a week off around Christmas time. I think a lot of people will be taking that time off with their family anyway. So we don't want to yeah, tie up Yeah, if we went nights. live on a week of Christmas, it might be just us here. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. Um, might do like a bit of a uh, Christmas like pre-Christmas live like we did last year with Cara. Oh, that was um, That fun. was some fun. Maybe do a I little couple of giveaways or something about like that. that. Um, but there will be some pretty big changes next year, I think. Um, we really want to make sure that we are providing good quality content to you guys. We're being as open as we possibly can with our business, showing you exactly what we sell, how we sell it, how much we're selling it for, um, and pretty much trying to be an open book uh, so that you can sort of replicate the same thing in your business you know what we're making, when we're making it, and how we're making it. So hopefully you guys can come along with us. <laughs> uh, Brad's mum said she's starting to take a break now <laughs> from the show. Wow. Later. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed what we have been putting out lately. Um, but this year there will be some changes going forward. So I'm pretty excited for some of them. One of the big ones will be Twitch. So as I said before, please jump over there. Uh, give us a follow. It's free on Twitch to follow, so do that. Same with subscribing on YouTube. It is free. So hit that subscribe button and give us a big thumbs up. Uh, 2.5 Aussie thrifters. <laughs> no, there will be no further Aussie thrifters. The cat is our 0.5 uh, at this point in time. It took me a second. I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> Maybe sit on different sides. I don't know. No, about that's that. not it happening. Doesn't, it doesn't work. Too. No. We are no. We, we've tried to film in that direction before. It's so bad. And it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It's um, mostly just because I look. What advice really would you weird. give me? Um, um, so Shazad, I think that what <laughs> you need to be doing is um, probably just sourcing more monkeys in a barrel from the op oh, yeah. shops because yeah. that's worked really well for us. Yes, yeah. uh, <laughs> I think uh, turning off YouTube would be, would be Shazad's biggest one. Obviously, Shazad is on a different level um, and absolutely smashes it. So go give Noel's live a big like. Thank and you, Zach. Thumbs up. Thank you, Zach, for dropping that in. Uh, that is what we do every Tuesday night. Come along here. <laughs> <laughs> That's because um, we pay you so with love. <laughs> 
I was like, did we? <laughs> no. I was just, I, I'm not aware of that agreement. Uh, so let's do a quick <laughs> recap of things that we talked about tonight in terms of taking leave. So Take breaks. Take breaks. Schedule them or wait for Brad to schedule them for you. Uh, bang some listings up so you have them ready to go. Extend your handling timeout is a big important one. Whether you use holiday mode or not, that is completely up to you. Uh, in our experience, it doesn't work very well. I've seen a few people say the same things, so up to you whether you take that advice or not. Communicate with your buyers. Make sure that they know what's going on so they know when to expect their parcel. Um, and try to enjoy your holidays because <laughs> I think it's easy to not stop and not relax. Um, I even found it hard. I think it was a Saturday morning when you went to get a, like, haircut. I was like, oh, I could do some stuff on eBay. Did you? I don't think I did. Um, <laughs> So, but you thought about it for the whole hour. <laughs> so, yeah, I think there's um, definite ways that you can continue sales rolling through while you're on holidays. If you um, need to delete your app, you could. I, I'm not there. <laughs> uh, there we go. We've got Whoa, some, uh, we can buy some person followers. over there on Twitch telling us to buy some followers. That We're going to have to make some more sales if we <laughs> want to buy followers because uh, that's an extravagant expense. Yeah, that's not something we'll be incorporating <laughs> into our business anytime shortly, I can tell not you very much. Our, uh, uh, would you guys yes. mind doing an Aussie acoustic rendition of WAP? Okay, thanks. Oh, God, um, no, we could never follow up after Chris. I don't think that's possible. <laughs> That was such Maybe a Greg beautiful Maybe Greg would do version. a trio with them. <laughs> we could be like little backup. backup no, you don't singers. even want to hear us as backup singers. We could be backup dancers and just like. I don't even think we could do that. I'm doing it right now. I'm not sure that's. He, gonna he cut wouldn't it. want us. I'm not sure that's going to cut it. Uh, so, guys, let us know how your sales have been today before we head off. I'm interested to see what your first day of December has been like. We have had a pretty good day. Uh, I think we saw a couple of Hopefully it's not just live. a freak good day. Hopefully it's going to be a good Quick month or a good couple of weeks before uh, we get too close to Christmas. We had a sale and a responder off of Wild Alive. So that's nice. Um, so let us know how your 1st of December has been. Um, interested to see if anyone started seeing that pick up for Christmas or if it's not going to happen. It's been It'll weird. Obviously also depend on what you sell. Yeah, definitely. I think this time of year, like, Obviously, gifts, presents. Giftable things. Mm, definitely. Um, quick question. Hey. I sold a trading card and the buyer seems to have the same card and claiming his. Oh, his is in bad condition. I them. What and do he's I saying do? you sent it. <sighs> That's tough. It's really your word against his, but, I mean, if it comes down to having e – if it was on eBay – you could have them step in and view yeah. the pictures and say this is the condition it was sent If you in. could kind of prove that he's got that card listed up already and that the oh, one yeah. that you sold them, like if you could show them both pictures and he may were able to look at them and go, all right, it's clear in your photos that yours looks like this. If they can pick that other card and it's got like flaws on it, then you'll probably get that. Well... <laughs> You can hope. Yeah, you'd hope that they take it. Um, Absolutely plead your case. Off. If it is on eBay, I would gather up all the evidence you can and at least let them know what's happened and hopefully they've at least then got that on record. No, happy to talk off topic. Absolutely. Thanks for... Uh, thanks yeah, when we me. have a theme, guys, it's just so that we have something to talk to or something that's <laughs> on our minds that we wanted to say. It does not need to be for the whole hour. <laughs> uh, so suck. I'm packing your buck and coat order. Uh, yeah, I need to pay for that. Can you We send have me... a buckle and coat yeah, order. Yesterday and, well, the other day to get us one for Christmas. So. Yes. Uh, can you please send me the invoice, Zach? Um, just Instagram's fine. I don't even need an invoice. Just tell me how much it is and I'll pay you. Pay for our friends and family. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Uh, Jazz is down for backups. I was just so impressed by that song. Uh, <laughs> did you take good photos to show me? Yeah, that's probably the big thing right there, isn't it? Took lots of photos, like the maximum, but he's claiming I sent him a rare, a ratty version. version. Of picks. Good card is in. Oh, good card is in my possession. Yeah. It is a it's tough gonna be one. Tough. Um, I think if you can prove that he is selling a card, then that's Yeah, like if help he's you. got his cruddy one listed on eBay, I would absolutely show them that as well. That's going to be And a then tough if that's one. got, if it is listed 
on eBay and he's saying he, that you sent him that one, then they're yeah. going to be able to tell us. Maybe um way. hit me up on Instagram and I'll see if I can um, come up with anything that's going to help you out. So uh, at Tawazi Thrifters is our Instagram handle. Um, I'll try and answer your questions back on there as soon as I can if you're on Instagram. Show um, us who it is. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what, what happens. What a scumbag. Uh, the only downside is if you ask eBay to step in, you revoke all sub protection. Well, oh, because if it doesn't go his way. Yeah, but what else? But it's do? already Just not copy. going his way. Uh, Buck on Co. There you go. Check that out, guys, for Christmas. Some great stuff over there. Um, everyone's going out in sympathy. Go let me know, Zach. Everyone's jumping on Zach's goods. <laughs> As you should. Uh, do you have to feel me putting high value cards into packaging? Even that sometimes doesn't work, to be honest. Um, if someone wants to scam you real bad, they'll do it. So it's really hard to um, avoid. When I've had strange feelings before, I have filmed myself or taken pictures, but I don't know if it would have actually protected me. Yeah, it's an interesting one. Um, we've had some interesting uh, talks about uh, trying to get around issues on eBay mm. lately. There's been a few going around with a lot of people. So I would just say just always be polite um, with the people that you are chatting to because the second that you're abrasive or rude, they don't care for you and they don't want to help you. So stay polite. Try and show them that you're doing all the right things, um, your feedback. If you've got a history yeah, of selling cards, you know, let them know I've never had trouble before and why would I want to create trouble for myself? I'm trying to provide a good service. You almost need to, like, build a case around it, like provide them with proof as to why you think the other person's doing the dodgy. Like do they have mm -hmm. a card store? Do they sell similar type of items? Uh, what is their, their feedback like? Do they have negatives on their account? So I always look pretty oh, deep. Sometimes when I'm trying to fight their these bad feedback helps is the you. thing that helps because mm, he before. could have done this to other people as well. Cool. Well, I think my computer was just about to crash. So what I'm going to do. Oh, my God. Um, we've dropped an hour. I just saw something pop up that wasn't good on my screen. So uh, I think it's probably going to drop out. <laughs> so thank you, everyone, for coming. I uh, really appreciate all you guys coming in. Really want to thank. Um, the two super chats that we got in tonight really appreciate that guys yep. mossy and uh, noel thank you very much uh, much appreciated uh we'll probably spend that on something for a chrissy time maybe a drink or two so buy something local yeah definitely uh thank you very much everyone for joining us we really appreciate your support hope the next few weeks it picks up for everyone and sales come flying through if we can help you guys out hit us up on instagram at twasy thrifters don't forget to head over to Twitch for us, guys, and hit that follow. We really, really appreciate it. It's going to be some fun stuff there next year. Yeah. And uh, if you haven't subscribed on this channel, do that as well because we're putting out two videos a week for you guys, Tuesday night lives and Friday mornings pre-recorded usually. So um, <laughs> thank you very much. We really appreciate it. And uh, we will see you next time on Twasy Thrifters. Oh, you had to think about who we were just then. I was like, are we on Worldwide Reselling or not? <laughs> Good All night, right. guys.